friends, and welcome to another video. Today, I'm gonna be trying out a face mask controlled by my iPhone. Yes, that sounds weird, and I think it's going to be weird. I'm very excited about this product, mostly because it's a little contraband. This face mask is called PlaySkin. It's made by an Italian company called the Baldon Group, and it's only sold in the UK and Italy. So I had one of my lovely UK-based subscribers smuggle it to me, and uh, they ordered it on my behalf and now it's here. This face mask supposedly sends electric microcurrents from your phone to your face to revitalize, plump, and generally shock, I think. So my questions are, does it work? Does it hurt? Will I be electrocuted in any way? And also, will I be able to play my skin like a Game Boy? Okay, let's get into it. So I have like my box of masks here. On the front, it says there's an average increase in hydration of 115% in one session. Tests carried out on 20 subjects at the Cosmetology Center of the University of Ferrara. So at least 20 other people have tried this before and ostensibly have survived it. Um, so I guess I'll be number 21. Let's open this up and see what's inside. Okay, so it looks like we've got some directions. Um, this. <laughs> What is that? <laughs> Looks like a pair of like airplane headphones, but I think that this is the connector from the face mask to your phone. And then it looks like we've got some electrodes. <laughs> it kind of looks like, you know, little heart monitors, but I guess you're gonna put that onto the face. They look like things you'd put on 11 from Stranger Things. And then we've got uh, some macheras or masks. I'm sorry about my Italian accent. I feel like my Italian accent goes straight to Spanish and my French accent goes straight to Italian. And then I also have this Play Skin Anti-Aging Renewal Cream. So that looks like something I've seen before. Are you sure that's not like an electric conductor? Let's hope not. All right, so the first step is to download the PlaySkin app from the App Store, which I already have. And then the second step is to tie up your hair and cleanse your face. All right, so I'm gonna go take my makeup off and I'll be right back for some shocking good times. Okay, so this is my before. I've got a couple of pimps down here, a couple of things I've been picking at, uh, and I also tweezed some mustache hairs for you guys, so. You're welcome. So we are on step number three, which is open the mask and take the two mask components out of the package. Oh, they're very dry. Usually when I open up a sheet mask, I'm used to it being like super wet, like dripping. Okay, so step number four is put the two components on a flat surface, film facing upwards. What's that guy from um, Spirited Away? No name. Yeah. Looks a little bit like no name. Okay, so step five is remove the protections from both strips. Something about the word protections seems high stakes to me, so uh, hopefully this is not the part where I get electrocuted. Step six is adhere the electrodes to the strips after removing them from their base. Is that really the word they're using, electrode? Yeah, we're going with electrode. Attach this to a toaster and drop it into a bathtub. Here are my electrodes. They're little spermies. Position the electrodes while keeping the cables up. I think that's right, because both the electro, oh, I'm stuck to it. Because both the electrodes are facing up, up, facing up. Okay, so step number seven is remove and position the double-sided adhesive discs and adhere them to the electrodes. And then remove the protective films from the mask. All right, I think that we're, we're ready, shall we? Oh yeah, it's a sticky one. Oh. Oh, it's pretty cooling. It feels cool. Tyler. What's up? It's sticking on my sideburns. It's in there, isn't it? Yeah, you might be in for an involuntary oh. waxing. Oh my God, actually that really hurts. I think you should just just, just, leave just it. get it on there and then uh, we'll just pull the bandit off uh, literally and figuratively later. I didn't realize I had significantly more sideburns than 20 Italian college students. I'm not surprised. Okay, let's do the bottom part now. My sideburns are really involved. Oh, they're in the line of fire. Okay, well, um, that was unfortunate. What's next? Okay, so step 11 is connect the electrodes to the cable supplied and position the right side and left wires over your ears. Uh, Ty, I think I might need some of your help. Why did I put on my face mask so askew? It's not the best placement, but it's on. You see, like, I've got these, like, little places to plug me in. Yeah. So plug me in. There's, like, 90s electronics right here. They're just blowing at first. Oh, no, please don't. Oh, am I pulling your sideburns? Yeah. My bad. Okay, am I plugged in? Yes. And then 12 is connect the connector to your smartphone. Where's my cable? Is it, is it attached to your head? There we go. It's like the longest rat tail. <laughs> no, you know what it is? It's like one of those avatar ponytails. 
Oh, it actually is, because I'm plugging myself into my uh, one true mate. Okay, so I'm plugged into the matrix. So let's open up my computer and we'll start screen recording and seeing um, what happens when I turn this mask on. So I'm opening up the PlaySkin app. It says, hello, are you ready for your beauty treatment? I'm pretty much as ready as I'll ever be. Step 13 is use the mirror function to check whether the mask has been applied correctly. It's not great, but I don't really know what to do to fix it. The problem is I can't readjust without completely ripping off my sideburns. So I think we're just gonna go with it. So step 14 is start the treatment for 10 minutes of pure relaxation. Caution, the microcurrents of your smartphone have a very low intensity. They are not invasive or perceivable. I like how they say caution even before like good or like not dangerous things. They're both reassuring and also threatening. They protect and they attack. Okay, so I'm gonna press play and we're gonna start the electric microcurrents. Ooh. Hello. Oh, now suddenly the active microcurrents are happening. Do you feel them on your face? Uh, I feel like almost like a little bit of like buzzing around my mustache area. It feels almost like I'm bleaching my mustache, but at the same time, it could just be placebo. Okay, so I think we can rule out being electrocuted, which was a, a, a bit of a stretch to begin with. I thought it was a legitimate concern. Um, but I still wouldn't recommend taking this in the bathtub. Something that's a little different than I expected was that they're kind of just going, like the microcurrents are just like happening. I kind of thought I might be able to like control them a little bit more, you know, almost like shock myself or like maybe like play a little game or something. But it does look like I've got some shopping recommendations up here. So let's see what this is about. Seductive Glance Impeccable Look Mascara. Plumping complex cream. Okay, so it looks like it's, maybe it's trying to sell me their other products that they have. I love that they say this is ideal for Nordic phototypes. Maybe from my last name, they were like, you should get this blush, you Nordic person. You look like the uh, screamer, as I've been thinking. The Picasso painting? Yeah. You know, especially when you do that. We've got a 20 second countdown to the end of this thing. Wow, that was 10 minutes, that went by so fast. It's cause I had a lot of shopping to do. Oh wow, S seven, six, oh. It went directly from seven seconds to done. Okay, so that was it, I guess. Um, shall we take it off? Yes. Does it look okay down there? It looks normal. It doesn't look red or anything. No, it doesn't oh. look red. Oh! 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 Uh, oh it's still on there. No! No, I thought I'd gotten it loose. Ah! Ah! Oh, wow. Actually, that did hurt. It sounded like a thorough rip. All right, so let me take this side off now. Oh! Oh, that one was better. All right, so let's put on the cream, which is our last step. It feels pretty normal. It tastes like lemons. You guys have eaten lotions. Yeah, that one doesn't taste good. They're not really all edible. Okay, so this is me a couple minutes after applying the cream. I think that it's absorbed pretty well in. I think in general, I do look shinier, so I do look more hydrated in that sense. But because I put the cream on, it's hard for me to tell if the mask is what was special and like the microcurrents really did anything. So just to have a second opinion, I'm gonna put the mask on Tyler. Okay, Ty? Let's do it. All right, so I'm really quick setting up Ty's mask. I don't think soft things I could do this on my own. Well, you started doing it on your own and then you asked me for help almost immediately. Yeah, it's actually true. Ooh, it is cool. Oh, wow, you look like a sexy Santa. Ho, ho, ho. Oops, sorry, got your sideburn too. That wasn't on purpose or anything. Here's revenge. All right, so let's grab your little avatar tail and uh, plug it into my phone. So I guess we both now had avatar sex with my phone. You ready for your beauty treatment? Yeah. Will you show it to me again? Look at your face. Yeah, you put it really askew it's too. It's really stupid looking. It's almost in my eye. Well, okay, let's do it, ready? Um, yes, press play. Do you feel anything? I'm trying so hard to feel if there's anything. I think if there's something, it's not like an electrical buzzing, but it's more like a message to cool down the mask. You think it's actually temperature controlled? Yeah. Wow, I, I- I was sure that it wasn't doing anything for Sophia. <laughs> no, I'm like sure it's doing something for me. I brought Krusty to see if he also thought you looked like sexy Santa. What do you think? You know what, this does feel like a little spa treatment right now. Relaxed, I got my kitty, I got a cool face mask. I wouldn't be as hydrated as a watermelon after this. All right, how much time do you have left? Five minutes? Jesus, it's gonna take forever. Krusty, I'm very sorry. I don't think we should be giving you a mask. All right, take it off. Here's the money shot right here. Uh, yeah. Okay, so the last step is to put that little cream on. I think I look more hydrated. I don't know if it's 115%, but definitely uh, 
more than 0% more hydrated. Okay, so Tyler seems to think that this thing changes temperature on his face. I couldn't really feel anything. I think that what I was feeling was placebo. So I'm almost wondering if there's like no microcurrent and it's just all the cream. So we're gonna head to Home Depot really quickly to see if we can't find something that can help us see if there's any actual electricity going through this thing. Okay, so we're in the car on the way to Home Depot right now to pick yes. up a multimeter, which will hopefully hook onto the electric and um, tell us how much or if there is any electricity running through the mask. All right, hydrated Ty, show me in the fluorescent lights how, how nice and hydrated you look. I'm sparkling. How do I look? You look hydrated. Thank you. All right, so this is a digital multimeter. Hopefully we should be able to see if there's something being conducted. All right, let's get it. Okay, so we're back from our quick excursion to Home Depot. We're not sure exactly what we're doing. Uh, we consulted our friend Mark, but um, I'm not convinced that he knows what he's doing either. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it on. I think that 200M is like the lowest or maybe more like 2M. Yeah, let's go 2M. So I'm gonna use these little uh, detectors and try and touch this mask and see if I can't detect any microcurrents. No, maybe here? No. Okay, I wonder what would happen if I unplugged this right now. So I pulled this one out halfway. So I've got some exposed metal basically. So let's see if I can now find the microcurrents this way. I, this definitely made a little jump. It did? I swear that went up to three. Oh yeah, it did. Look. Oh my God, that's working. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Holy crap, there's electricity in here for sure. <laughs> what? It's very interesting though, cause I can't detect any electricity when I'm touching the actual mask but they are putting electricity in this thing. So it's not just nonsense. Not confirmed what that necessarily does, but maybe you could sense it a little bit. I sensed it. After a quick Google search, there seem to be a few legit looking scientific papers that link the use of electric fields to skin rejuvenation and therapy for degenerative skin diseases. I'm not sure if that's exactly what's happening here, but there seems to be some science behind it. All right, so that was pretty exciting. Um, I am very excited that we were able to actually detect some electricity running through the mask, but I'm still not convinced that my face is 115% more hydrated. And I also still wish that there was more of a play element to the play skin mask. Like I thought I might be able to do more concentrated bursts, almost like tap on different things on my phone and like, you know, sort of send different types of electrical currents to my face. So there wasn't as much control or fun in the actual app as I thought there might be. And I also wish there was a little more sensation. I'm glad it didn't hurt, but I would like a little buzz, just so you know it's working. I just, I need it to be a little more shocking. Not too shocking, because that seems scary. Just like a little. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked that video, make sure to smash that like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to smash that subscribe button. If you've already smashed that subscribe button, make sure to also smash that little bell icon in the middle to turn on post notifications so you get a notification every time that I post. Here are my social media handles and make sure to check out my next beat. I do a lot of daily vlogging and Q and A's on there. A big shout out to Pumpkin Daddy for watching. Thanks for watching Pumpkin Daddy and I will see you guys next time.